The system development life cycle is the term used to describe the six phase process, which are the components that are combined to create a new information technology system, which is the finished product. There are six phases in SDLC planning, analysis, design, coding, testing, and implementing. For our project, we have decided to choose the design phase. The design phase can be referred as transformation phase because this is when an idea is actually transformed into a real working system. Phase 2 comes to an end once a customer has agreed and signed off on the system. Once this happens, the building begins. Data is formed into charts and the design team uses those charts to decide the best way for the data to move and be stored. All of the components and security pieces of the system are also determined during the design phase. The design phase is categorized under the Adaptive Software Development, also known as AST, because all the data are still in the logical design state, which means the data cannot be clearly expressed, the projects are mission-driven and the component-based using the time-based cycles to meet the target dates. For example, the potential project that could use the design phase in project management is the Disaster Recovery Plan. The project is an IT-focused plan designed to restore operability of targeted systems, applications, or a computer facility due to a natural or man-made extended interruption of an agency's business services. Its main goal is to identify plans to restore operability in the event of extended interruption of services, document notification procedures, and record damage assessment procedures, recovery activities, and reconstitution procedures. To compare the process, we must first understand what is the 5 Project Management Process Group, which is Initiation Planning Execution Monitor and Control Lastly, Project Close For the chosen SDLC, design phase has similarity with planning phase in project management process. Planning phase typically begins with setting goals. This phase involves identifying the cost, quality, available resources, and a realistic timetable. For the documents, this phase uses Gun Chart, a visual timeline that used to plan out tasks and visualize project timeline. For the design phase, also known as transformation phase, an idea is actually transformed into a real working system. Data is formed into charts and the design team uses those charts to decide the best way for the data to move and be stored. Both models are using diagrams to plan and documenting their data and information. These phases are also for end users to discuss and determine their specific business information need for the proposed system and to accomplish the objectives.